What's up, Hi Fi fans? This is Bob from Bob Waya. In this video, I will show you how to use my AAT1 to add a 12 volt trigger output to any audio system with RCA connections. A 12 volt trigger output is most often used to turn on external power amplifiers. In this example, we have this vintage stereo receiver paired with a more modern external two-channel amplifier. When we start playing music on this vintage receiver, we also want the power amp to automatically turn on. We will accomplish this with the AAT-1. Looking at the back side of the equipment, we can see that we have the AAT-1 connected to the preamp outputs of the receiver. This is going to the input of the AAT-1. And then the output of the AAT-1 is going to the power amplifier. We have the 12 volt trigger output from the AAT-1 going to the 12 volt trigger input of the external power amplifier. The trigger connection will tell the power amp to turn on when you start playing music on the vintage receiver. The AAT-1 can be used with any audio device that has RCA audio outputs. In this example, I will use this Sonos Music Streamer. And when I press play, you will see the AAT-1 detects the audio and then sends the 12 volt trigger signal out to the power amplifier to tell it to turn on. When I stop the music, you'll see that the AAT-1 turns off the 12 volt trigger and the power amp also turns off. Looking around on the control panel side, on the far left is the power supply input. In the center, we have the 12 volt trigger outputs. On the far right is the reset delay time. This determines how long the AAT1 waits after audio has stopped before turning off the 12 volt trigger outputs. This is adjustable from zero to 10 minutes. The audio trigger sensitivity knob determines how loud the audio must be before activating the 12 volt triggers. The audio cut switch will reduce the audio output by 10 dB, making the sound even quieter when the AAT1 activates. We also have the status light indicators. And looking at the side here, we have the expansion relay, which can be used to control additional equipment. I have a separate video on that if you're interested in the expansion relay. This has been a demonstration of the Bobwire AAT-1 analog audio trigger. See my website www.bobwireaudio.com for more details.